welcome to a short video review of the Sony ADL-47W805. The chassis design of the Sony is fairly basic, being composed largely of a black frame, but there's also a splash of colour with a narrow turquoise trim. Most of the design thought has gone into the new loop stand, which we really like, although it does look a bit cheap from close up. Unlike many of the designer stands we've seen recently, the W805 does swivel, so full credit to Sony for that. Around the back of the TV we have three downward facing HDMI inputs, which will help those looking for a flush wall mount, as well as another HDMI to the side featuring MHL compatibility, meaning you can hook up your compatible tablet or smartphone to send HD video and audio to the TV. Sony has also included a decent set of legacy video connections, as well as three USB ports, a LAN connection, and there's also Wi-Fi and NFC compatibility to boot. As is the case with most high-end TVs these days, the W805 ships with two remote controls. As you can see, one is quite a standard type, whilst the other is quite a dainty little number with just some basic controls. The menu system has had a bit of an overhaul this year, although it still retained some of the XMB DNA, and we found that some of the settings were unnecessarily buried away. More helpfully, Sony has built in an eye manual to assist users with various settings and features, and we were very impressed with it. Sony's smart TV platform might not be as comprehensive as some of the competition, but there's lots of excellent services, with the emphasis, rightly, on video on demand. Out of the box performance in the movie picture mode was reasonable, but the grayscale showed a noticeable yellowy green tint, thanks to the excess of green and red energy, as well as the lack of blue. Gamma tracking was much more on target, with just a spike near black that we can hopefully iron out. Grayscale and gamma tracking was near perfect post calibration. The only real issue with the colours is green, which is skewed off toward yellow. These are excellent results, but a working colour management system would probably have allowed us to correct that error. Once calibrated, the W805 managed some pleasing pictures, but we found it lacking overall relative to its price point and status, so it misses out on a badge this time. You can read the full review at avforums.com forward slash reviews. Thanks for watching.